Hi friends! If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Liz, aka Knife Girl, and I am happy to have you here. So today's video is going to be something a little out of the ordinary for me, but then again, it's just another review, so it's really not. I guess the item that I'm reviewing is a little bit out of the ordinary for me. As you know, I do a lot of reviews of bags and backpacks and crafty type things and smaller things. But today I'm going to be reviewing a larger thing and that is my bike. If you're gonna cause a ruckus, then you're gonna be on the YouTubes, okay? If you're gonna make noise, you're gonna be on the, on the internet. All right. And so when I was thinking of video ideas and things I could possibly do reviews about, it occurred to me maybe I could do a review about my bike. So the bike I have is the Retrospec Beaumont City Bike 7 Speed. P.S. Not sponsored. I just, this is my bike that I bought and I thought I would tell you about it in case you happen to be looking at this model or similar models or this brand or whatever. So if you're interested in hearing about this bike, then keep on watching. So as I mentioned, my bike is the Retrospec Beaumont City Bike. It's a seven speed. And I guess let me tell you why I picked this bike, what I was kind of looking for in a bike, and I guess what I use it for before I get into the actual nuts and bolts of the bike itself. I am pretty much your most basic bike user. I, when I was looking for a bike, I was not really trying to find anything really adventurous. Basically I was just trying to find something that was low cost that I could use to get from A to B. I'm not really trying to be biking to work because I work a little too far for that. It can get like in the 90s and the 100s here in Los Angeles in the valley and it can be rough so sometimes you just need AC and you just need a car. So what I was looking for in a bike was so I often, I work in TV and a lot of times we're working on a studio lot. Sometimes they can be bigger, sometimes they can be smaller, but without fail, if you're working on a lot, at some points you're probably going to need to get from one side of the lot to the other. So a lot of times lots will not allow like skateboards or scooters or anything like that, but they will allow a bike. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted a bike. It was, when I bought it, it was still pandemic times, obviously. I mean, we're still in pandemic times, but it was more heavy pandemic times. So we were doing COVID testing multiple times a week. For me in particular, I would have to go COVID test three times a week sometimes. And of course the COVID testing site was all the way across the lot. So I wanted a bike so that I could get from our stage to COVID testing without having to steal a golf cart or blub or walk. <laughs> so I was using it for that. I wanted something that I could uh, ride from the parking structure to our stage because that's pretty far as well And then I also just wanted something so I could take leisurely bike rides around my neighborhood uh, And by the beach and go on little bike adventures um, So I wasn't really looking for anything too hardcore I wasn't really intending to do any mountain biking or any off-road biking I was intending to mostly stick to bike paths sidewalks sometimes roads, but nothing too crazy. So I decided a probably like a hybrid bike or a city bike would probably be good for me. And I also decided that I probably wanted to go to a bike shop as opposed to ordering something online because I didn't really know what I was looking for really. Like I knew some things that I was looking for, but I didn't know entirely what I was after. So I thought I could go to a bike shop and look at some things and also obviously support like a small business. So I ended up going to my local bike shop and just spoke to someone there and they said, well, what's your budget? And I said, ideally around 300. And they're like, well, you're probably not gonna find anything for less than at least 400. And I was like, okay, fair. I think if I had gone to like a Target or something, I could have found something less expensive. But then again, I was hoping for something like slightly higher quality, primarily because a lot of bikes have a weight limit of around 
250 or less. Some bikes have a weight limit of around like 220 or even 200 and I weigh more than that. I'm a plus size person so ideally I was looking for something a little closer to something a little more beefy. Not crazy but just something a little bit more beefy and full disclosure this bike that I have now I think the weight limit is about 250 and I am a little bit over that but I've been using it for probably over a year now maybe two years I actually don't remember when I bought it but I've been using it for a while now and haven't had any problems take that into consideration but anyway I went to my local bike shop and I told them what my budget was and what I was kind of looking for and the mm, associate pulled out uh, this bike, which was the Retrospect Beaumont. So I actually, I guess I bought the first one that I looked at, but I really liked it. He said, take it, you know, take it down the, to the corner and back. And I, and I, he adjusted it to my height and it, like, it fit good. Cause I'm a tall person. I'm about six foot. So it fit well. And I tried it and I liked it. The only thing that I didn't like upon the first ride was the seat was so uncomfortable, but I was like, well, that's easy. I could, change the seat really easily so I decided to buy it and however long I've had it now she's been my little baby I call her my blueberry <laughs> my my little blue my little bluebell bike so as I mentioned I did change the seat because first impressions of that bike the seat that comes with it was so uncomfortable it literally I think bruised my tailbone just from like that 30 second ride down to the like the corner and back like I went to work the next day and like my it hurt to sit on my chair <laughs> so needless to say I swapped that seat out pretty soon after that um, I just ordered one on Amazon which was like a, a comfy gel squishy seat I guess I found out that a lot of bike seats that come on bikes are not intended for women like women's bone structure in their sit bones is different than men and they require like different things so maybe that seat was made for a guy I don't know Someone else tell me in the comments if you sat on that seat and it hurt as much as it did for me. But it was an easy fix. Like, I honestly, I think the seat that I bought on Amazon was 20 bucks. It's like super squishy and jelly. So I put that on and it was just infinitely better. And then, yeah, I, I started riding it at work. As you can see, I, I did a little, a goofy little mod where I actually took a wire paper tray and some zip ties and I zipped it to the, the rack on the back tire just to kind of hold things better and just be like a little rear basket and it actually works really well but it's literally just like an office paper tray yeah so then i put a i put a cell phone holder so i could like use gps and stuff i bought a front and rear uh light set what do you call it headlights because at the time i was working nights so lights came in handy. The The bike had a bell, but I think the, the bell that I have on it now was a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday or Christmas or something. It was a gift for something. Um, it's just like a little bit of a cuter bell, so I replaced the bell. And then, as you can see, I have a bunch of really sick, awesome stickers on there. Uh, and I do want to put more stickers on there. I just wanted to add a lot of personality, make the bike more unique and mine, hopefully, maybe less easy to steal if someone's like oh it's got a lot of you know stickers on it it's pretty distinguishable i also put a little p-touch label on there that says i belong to liz because i didn't want to park it at work and someone would be like whose bike is this it's always in the way but they could be like oh it's liz's bike just move it it's fine <laughs> but yeah so i was using it at work i was using it on little fun bike adventures there's like a bike path pretty kind of close to my house so I was going up and down that a lot I took it to the beach a few times and that was really really nice I even took a little mini weekend trip just by myself up to Santa Barbara and I got an Airbnb and I brought my bike and I just spent the whole day biking along the beach and up along the little downtown area of Santa Barbara I don't know what, what you'd call that but there's like a little main drag with a bunch of restaurants and stuff and stores and I was just biking up and down that and just having like a grand little bike adventure time and it was really awesome. So yeah, since I got it, I've been using it a lot. 
I guess now that I've kind of explained everything, I can kind of give you my impressions of it and my review of it, I guess. So with that being said, I'm obviously not any kind of a bike expert. I figured that my credentials for this review would be just a regular old bike consumer who owns this bike and uses it and can tell you what she thinks of it. So I know some people, like just looking at reviews online, a lot of people, if they ordered it online, there's some assembly required. And I know a lot of people have trouble with things like that. I bought mine at a local bike shop, so I didn't have to put anything together. It was already put together. He adjusted the seat for me to my height and they, I think they did like a little tiny tune-up before I walked out the door with it. So that was really cool. So yeah, I guess I didn't have to deal with any kind of assembly, so I really can't speak to that. When I did go to the bike shop, the, the person that I spoke to said that this bike was actually pretty popular. You know, it was pretty common for them to sell these bikes, which I can understand because if you have a lower budget or a lower price point you're aiming for, bikes can, you know, range in the thousands to a couple hundred and something like that. So if your budget is on the lower end, obviously like mine was, then this bike could be appealing for you. On the website, it's listed as regular price $3.99 before tax and like not on sale or anything. I think Retrospect, their website, they do do sales quite often. So if you were interested in this bike, you could probably get it for cheaper if you just kind of keep an eye on it. I do get a lot of compliments on it sometimes when I'm riding it around. I know that's not really like a big criteria for a lot of people, but sometimes like aesthetic is important for someone, especially if maybe you're like someone who takes a lot of pictures or this and that. Maybe you want a cuter bike or maybe, yeah, maybe you just want something that's cute. I do get a lot of compliments on this bike. I think because of the fenders and everything kind of give it this like classic little cute look. Maybe also the brown tires. I don't know. And maybe the stickers. <laughs> for what it is and for what I use it for, it works great for me. Like I mentioned, I pretty much stick to sidewalks and bike paths and bike lanes and, you know, pavement. I very rarely go off-road. Don't think I've ever tried to go off-road, but obviously, you know, this bike is not intended for going off-road. It's not a mountain bike, so you can't expect it to be, you know, doing anything like that. I think on the website, it's it's recommended as pavement and then can be good for some hills. And I do do some hills in it and that's fine. Uh, there's not a ton of hills, but just in my, you know, various bike adventures. Now, it does have, I believe, a Shimano drivetrain. Let me, let me say this. I really don't understand bike drivetrains super well. I understand that bikes have gears and whatnot. That information doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I do know that this bike has seven speeds. It doesn't have disc brakes. It has, do you call them clamp brakes? The kind that um, clamps onto the actual, the actual wheel itself. I know I was looking at some bikes and I thought that this kind of brake style would be a little better for me just because that's what I've been used to in other bikes I've had in the past when I was a kid. I don't know anything about disc brakes and I'm sure they're better because, I, but I don't know if something went wrong, I wouldn't know how to fix it or anything. So I kind of decided to stick with what I know. <laughs> and so that was kind of a factor. It's got 26 inch tires and I believe they're they're just city tires. I don't remember the term for it. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, there's not any kind of crazy traction on it. I've honestly not really tried riding it in the rain, so I don't know if it gets slippery or anything. So far, everything I've used it for has been fine. It didn't come with a water bottle rack, but a lot of bikes don't. Those are really easy to find on Amazon. Like I said, I <laughs> added that little wire paper bin rack on the back of it just as like a little extra storage and that always works really well so I don't you know I haven't really piled a ton of stuff in there so I haven't really tried to overload it or anything but I have used it at work from time to time to carry things from point A to point B including like I didn't have a big plastic tote full of 
things that I crammed in there and I wasn't going far but it, it's it's stuck in there it didn't you know so far I've I've been using the rear rack a lot and uh, it's been great so far for what I've used it for so yeah basically there's not a whole lot to say just for the price it's just a simple very basic functional bike like I've used it for at least a year, possibly more, but now I don't remember. But so far, I have not had any issues with it. I make sure to keep the tires aired up regularly. I, every time I use it, I always check the tires and make sure I have enough air in there. So far, knock on wood, I haven't had any flats yet. I haven't encountered any major issues with this bike. And so far, I'm happy with it. Looking back, if I were to go back and reconsider my bike purchase decisions, I might maybe try to choose something a little, something with a little bit more off-road capabilities, like possibly like your most basic and expensive mountain bike, just because I do think it might be kind of interesting to go off-road a little bit. I might consider more strongly like an e-bike. I don't know. This is a purely analog manual bike there's no motor or anything in it i would maybe consider like an e-bike next time something maybe with pedal assist just for hills but all in all i'm actually really happy with this bike so if this is something that you're considering and it's within your price point and you like me have pretty basic needs you just want to ride on pavement flat ground and just have fun with a little bike then I think I can recommend this one to you. If you want something that's a little bit aesthetic, but also pretty functional, I think I can recommend this one to you. If you if you want something that's like a finely tuned machine for like racing or gravel or whatever, obviously this isn't the one for you because that's not what it was made for. But yeah, overall, if you just want something that's pretty inexpensive, maybe for a younger person, maybe if you just don't have a lot of money, but you want to incorporate biking more into your lifestyle, then I think this one would be a, a, a decent fit. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'm trying to think if I forgot any kind of pertinent info, but <laughs> I'm not a bike expert, so I don't really know exactly what people would be looking for in a bike. I just know that I'm a basic person who wanted to ride a bike and so this is what I bought. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I can do my best to answer them, layman though I am. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, friends. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing or giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye friends.